Hello, welcome to my channel. Today I am excited to be doing a new unboxing. Uh, this is the Archer and Olive uh, quarterly subscription box. This one is the one for the month of September 2022. With that, let me go ahead and open the package. I've been looking at these boxes and they look absolutely gorgeous. Um, I actually have not purchased um, prior to this any Archer and Olive um, items yet. So I am really excited to see, looks like I'm going to need to cut it this way as well, um, how I like them. They look like they're great products. So huge box. Let's see if we can flip this over. Oh wow, look how beautiful that packaging is. Um, so I thought I would get a few of their quarterly subscription boxes and see how it goes. Um, this says here, venture back in time to an enchanted forest and let your creativity bloom. That sounds gorgeous. And it looks like we have some more plastic here. So let me go ahead and open that up as well. This box is really big. So hopefully I can get the whole thing in the camera for you all. Got beautiful foiling even on the box there. Um, let's go ahead and see if I can open this. See if I can put it where you guys can see it. Oh, <laughs> and they taped it on the bottom as well. All right, so it's packaged very well. All right, let's let's try that again. Archer and Olive. Oh, beautiful packaging. Look at that. All right. Well, let me go ahead and push this up to the side a little bit and then see what we have here. I'm going to grab this box first just because it's a little open and see what we have. So this looks like their Acrylograph water-based acrylic non-toxic 0.7 millimeter. It says they are great for layering and blend. blending works on dark surfaces too. Well, that's cool. I don't know if I even actually have any dark surface notebooks right now, but um, in the past I've stayed away from dark notebooks because I couldn't find pens that really worked well. But these, look at those colors. Those are gorgeous. I want to see what the tips look like on these. Very cool. If I can get it to focus for you all. There we go. So it looks like it's a uh, like a felt of some sort maybe. And it sounds like, it, yeah, you have to shake them. They got a thing in there to shake them and then it probably you can press on it and get the ink out. I'll have to see if they actually have instructions on them. Um, and they're all the same type of tip, it looks like. Beautiful colors. Well, I'm excited to have these. I can't wait to, to play with them. And I love the color theme. So we'll see if that's uh, the same colors throughout. They seem to be pretty cohesive boxes from what I've seen um, others in the past. Let's see what we have here. We have some decorative washi tapes. Okay. You never have too much washi tape. Oh, there's like four of them in here. So that's a good amount. And let's see if I can get it out of the box. Uh, looks like we have three different sizes. So a nice little border tape. And we've got a couple that have the regular size washi tape with some pretty um, floral and leaf patterns on them, it looks like and then a nice thick one. So let's see if we can see what these look like. I'll show them to you guys. Oh, those are pretty. That's very pretty. Looks like some fig and oranges and maybe some pine cones. Very nice. Very foresty themed. And let's see what this one looks like. Nice thin washi tape, I love that. 
And the sticky is sticky, but not too sticky. It's not aggressive. Um, I don't know if that's gonna show up well in the camera, but they're these really pretty little houses um, with leaves and flowers behind them. If I can get to zoom up close for you. Very pretty washi tapes. All right, let's see what these light blue ones are. These look like they're even pretty similar colors to the uh, pens that we got. That is pretty. So it just looks like ribbon, leaves, flowers. Very pretty tape. I like the simplistic design of them. Um, and then this is a nice thickness, uh, just like a header or border tape. Oh, it looks like it actually might even have something on there. I can barely see it because of the light, but it actually has a pattern. Let me see if I have, you know what I'll do? I'll put it on this here. Let's take a little piece. Let's see if we can see it on the white. If it shows. I'm not sure if that's going to show in the camera, but it actually has a little green... Um, a little pattern on there. Let me put it up close and hopefully you guys can see that in the camera. Very pretty, very nice washi tapes. All right, so we'll go ahead and set those over here. Oh, let's see what this is. It says a vintage inspired ribbon. Okay. Ooh, look at that. I'm loving the color thing here. These are ribbons on these really cool wooden uh, large spools. Very cool touch. And very um, soft, thin. Oh, that's a really nice. Let me see if I can pull this off and show it to you guys. Very nice ribbon. It is, um, I don't know what that material it is, but it's a little sheer. Uh, feels kind of gauzy, but it's silky. It's like silk at the same time. Very beautiful ribbon. I am honestly not sure what I will use that for because a lot of my journaling and note supplies I use for, you know, grimoires, book of shadows, journalings, things like that. But um, may not be able to get that back on. We'll deal with that later. Um, but I'm sure I can find something to do with this ribbon. That is absolutely gorgeous. And even to have these little wooden spools afterwards, they're just, they're cool. All right, what else do we have in here? Um, an ink pad. Okay, so I bet we have some kind of stamps or something in here. Let's see what we have here. Cute little, ooh, it's like this golden brown. Uh, ink pad. It's covered in plastic. I don't know if I can open that. Should have grabbed a piece of paper because it looks like we might have something to stamp. All right. Very pretty. Nice little ink pad. It's like this golden coppery brown. Does it have a name on it? Let me see if it actually tells us a color. Uh, Archer and Olive ink pad. It just has a number on it. It does not look like it has an actual color. So very cool. The lid doesn't really stick tight to it, but that's okay. I'll just put it somewhere safe. When I'm not using it. And it looks like this might be our stamps. It says alphabet stamps. So that's cool. I don't have any of those. I love it. Look at the cute little box that that's in. I love cute little boxes. So, oh, oh, the whole thing is cute. All right, look at this. So you've got this nice little sturdy box with this cute little lid on it. And we've got a whole set of alphabet stamps. 
very cute. Let's see here. We've got very nice little stamps. Let me see if I can find a piece of paper. I think I've got one in reach here. I want to see what the uh, ink looks like on the stamps. So this is just a bright white piece of printer paper. And let's go ahead and do a couple of these and see. I love the whole vibe of them, just these cute little wood stamps. A, let's do like a, if I can get them out, they're so cute. Okay, the ink pad's nice and soft. That is adorable, you guys. I don't know if you can see that, but it is this really shimmery um, ink. Very cute. I'm gonna love using these, uh, these little stamps. They look like a lot of fun. Let's see if I can get them back in the box. The little box is just too adorable. Okay, well that's fun. All right, nice little box there. All right, let's see what else we have. Um, let's see, got another small box here. It says wooden ruler. All right, let's, everything's in plastic. I think I have some scissors here. Excuse my scissors, they're old, a little grungy looking. Okay. Got a nice little ribbon pull tab for the box. You could totally reuse this box for something. That is cute. Oh, look how pretty that is. Love that. Nice, it's got a um, flat edge. It's just a little wooden ruler with a beautiful design on it. Love that. Okay. I'll let me keep some of that in the picture for you all. All right, so let's see what else we have. Let's save, it looks like we got a, a notebook or a journal or something there, so we'll save that for last. Let's go ahead and open up this. It says it is a flower press, a collection of your floral findings. I have to say their packaging on all their stuff is really nice. I'm very impressed with that. Um, okay, so we have a little piece of cardboard just protecting here. Oh, this is cute. This is right up my alley. This is awesome. So let me go ahead and move that to the side. Um, look how pretty that is. So it looks like it has cardboard so you could um, tighten or loosen the press using these little nuts here. Let's see if I can take it off and take a look inside it for you all. Plenty of space here, I'll say, um, so that if it bulks up to really be layered with lots of uh, plants in there, there definitely is room for that. Okay. Almost there. Just take this off of there 
and it has these pieces of cardboard. Oh, they even put some tissue papers in here to put your uh, flowers in between them and stack them. And it looks like you've just got plenty of places in here. Let's see how many flowers you could cross in here. One, two, You could easily fit um, probably nine to 10 flowers in there or leaves or plants. Uh, and then you'd stack them all in there between your pieces of tissue and cardboard. And then you put your bolts back on and press it down. No more big, huge stacks of books to press a couple flowers. This is gorgeous. I love this. So far, I'm loving this box. I love the unique items, and I would assume that mostly what's left is probably the journals that you would expect to get in the box. And it looks like one of the things I'm really enjoying about this box is the different um, things that you get in it with the, in addition to the journals. So anyways that is cute love that all right let's go ahead and pull these out of the big box oh it looks like there's another little thing we'll look at that in a second we're gonna get this big box out of the way okay wow it looks like we've got a couple of journals here and let's go ahead and take a look at this little thing here let's see translucent stickers well stickers are fun so let's see what they have. I like this really thick, almost vellum type paper that they've got folded here to hold the stickers. Oh, let's see. Oh, they kind of match the designs that are on the washi tapes, but they are in color and stickers. A little wrinkled but I'm sure that'll smooth out just fine. That's the little house design that was on one of the washi tapes. Very cute. Those are nice size stickers as well. Um, they'll fit within a journal nicely. They're thin too so they're not like thick and bulky. Perfect for journals or planners. Love that. Okay. So let's go ahead and make a little bit more room here. And let's open up the smaller one first. Yeah, let me get my scissors out again. Plastic. Plastic is my nemesis. Oh, it says on the back. Let me go ahead and show you guys. Oh, how cute. It looks like it's a spiral bound uh, dot grid notebook, 112 pages, I would assume. Yeah, dot grid pages, 160 GSM ultra thick pages, perfect for markers, pens, and even paint. All right. I'm really curious to see what their paper is like. Um, I know a lot of people love these journals and um, I, I typically like a paper somewhere between 120 to 160 for most things. So let's go, let me look at this. It's just the packaging, you guys. It's gorgeous. Ooh, this is really pretty. Go ahead and set this aside. Look at that. Okay, so it's this nice, um, I think it's just like a faux leather. Um, it's got a pretty sturdy, thick strap on it. A nice spiral bound. I don't necessarily mind spiral bounds. I don't love them or hate them. So I just gotta find the right use for the notebook. And look at that beautiful, there's that pattern again. Okay. Oh, look how pretty that is. So they really do, they repeat the same theme throughout the box. 
which is just a really nice touch. Um, I love the gold foil in here. Uh, you've got a little nameplate page, this book belongs to, and the archer and olive symbol there. And then it goes straight into dock grid pages. Um, I guess we could use their ruler and show you up close the size of their dots in case I think some people, it's not really an issue for me really. I'm trying to get the lights going away so hopefully I can get a good angle on that for you. Um, it is a very bright white paper on this one. So let me show you, like here's that printer paper I was using earlier. It's nice white paper. Um, a lot of beautiful pages. And then you've got a plain blank last page. And it looks like it even has a little pocket in here. The pocket goes right up to the edge, but I would imagine if you put it like this, you could still easily get into it. Um, let's see how deep that pocket is. So there you go. Love this ruler. That is so cute. I bet you it would even fit. It even fits inside the journal. That's so cool. And let's see what else we have here. So it sits inside the cover. So that's nice. You don't have to worry about the pages getting damaged. That is a really pretty spiral bound notebook. So I'm not sure what I will use this one for, but I like the size. It's smaller than an A5. Um, not sure exactly what size that is, but it's a cute little size. I like that. Easy to slip into a purse or something. All right. These boxes too, that they, everything comes in. You could totally reuse these to source stickers and labels and things like that in. All right. Let us take a look at this big, gorgeous one here. This one is huge. I mean, I'm not really great at, I usually use A5, so anything outside of that, I'm not really sure, but this looks like it might be a B5 size, so the larger size. It says it is also a dot grid, which is perfect, versatile. Uh, 160 dot grid pages, 150 GSM ultra thick, pages, perfect for markers, pens, even paint. So that's kind of neat. It actually has a slightly less GSM, so 150 GSM. Um, I didn't even know that they at this company had journals that were a lower GSM because I believe this one said it was 100. I don't know what I did with the thing, but I think it was 160 GSM in this one. And this one says it's 150. So anywhere between 120 and 160, I find is good for markers um, and art journaling and stuff like that. Most 120 GSM paper tends to have a little bit of a coating on it. So even though it's a little bit thinner, um, their paper doesn't seem to have a coating. It seems to just be a really nice high quality paper from what I can tell. Okay. Again, beautiful box. Let's see, I might have to push this up so you guys can see the whole thing in there. Okay. Make sure it is in the camera there for you. And it's kind of like, actually like a rose gold. And actually, this is good. So you can see on this paper, this, if you couldn't see earlier on the uh, really thin washi tape, this one here. Um, it has this, it's like a light green um, pattern on the darker green. And this, this is the pattern that it is. I don't know if that was showing up in the camera or not. So with that, okay, let's go ahead and take a look. Oh, oh, wow. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's so soft and fuzzy, silky feeling. That is gorgeous. Oh, look at this. All right, let's pull this out. 
Let me move the box so that it's out of the way. Look how beautiful that color is on that. I mean, I don't know if you can see the little bit of fuzzies are sticking to it because it is like super soft. Oh, if you like soft things, you would love this journal. Um, it's got this beautiful rose gold. Love that. Uh, nice gold image on the top. And it looks like it's got a couple closure ribbons. And opening it up, it's got this beautiful thick brown paper with, again, the same patterns and such on there. Oh, this is a beautiful journal, you guys. I don't know what I'm gonna use this for. Like, I'm afraid to mess it up, it's so pretty. Okay, now this one actually has, you can actually kind of see from the paper that it's wrapped in. The paper is a very bright white. This journal um, is a bit of a cream colored, whereas the other one was white. This one is cream. I personally don't really have a preference, white or, you know, really light cream beige. I don't like when it's very yellow, but this one is not, not that. It's not yellow. It's kind of like a darker cream color. So not an issue, especially since it really goes um, well with all the other colors involved here. Uh, very nice lay flat binding. Beautiful. I actually like this size too. Um, the size is not something I think I normally would have bought for myself. I usually am an A5 kind of girl, but uh, yeah. Oh, look at this. It's got a couple ribbons. Let's see how big the ribbons. So the ribbons are shorter, so you wouldn't want to be able, you can pull them all the way to the edge on the bottom, but they do meet halfway, so still plenty enough to pull, but if you're someone who likes to pull the ribbons all the way to the edge, they're not quite that long. Um, beautiful silky ribbons, very pretty. You've got two of them and one of them have this little, is that an Anne Prisan on there? Very pretty. I actually like that, that's a nice touch. I mean, I've seen them in the photos and I've thought, oh, those are cute, but it's not really a necessity for me. You know, it's just embellishment, but Looking at having one now and looking at it, you guys, it's gorgeous. I actually kind of like it. So, um, so we got two ribbons, it looks like, in here. And then we've got, it's just fuzz. So in the back, nice thick paper, our other ribbon, and a really nice deep, pocket like I really am liking their pockets come really close up to the binding you know enough that you can still get into them easily but your stuff's really gonna be protected in here I really like that oh, I can't get over how soft this cover is I can't even explain it or do it justice you all really it's like remember when you're a kid and you're at the holidays at grandma's house and they have those really soft blankets <laughs> like that's what it reminds me of Anyways, love this, and then you can just tie the ribbons in a bow on the side there. For now, I think I'm just going to carefully, sorry, I keep knocking the camera, carefully tuck them back inside here um, until I decide what I'm going to use this journal for. But this is absolutely stunning. Love this. Um, yeah, I am really happy with this box. Um, the only thing in here I think that I may not know what to do with is the ribbons, but I'm sure I can find something. Um, and aside from that, a lot of these things are probably things I wouldn't have just individually decided to buy for myself, but having received them in the box, um, I love them. They're gorgeous and I will actually get really good use out of all these things. So yeah, so I think I'll get their box for you know, a couple more months at least and see how it goes. Um, make sure that, you know, I'm using the products and everything. But um, so far, this box is a winner for me. Loving it. What do you guys think? Have you used any of their products before? Do you like their boxes? 
let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. And thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Have a good day.